how you doing? I made it kind of halfway through the shift and I'm going home sick. I may end up going to the hospital. This, this stuff has got to go. I'm having a um, gastrointestinal issue. I've had it for, I've had it all year really. And uh, it's just getting worse and worse and worse. And now I just feel yucky. So, so uh, I think it's got to the point where I need to just take care of it and uh, figure out what's going on. Or hopefully it's not taking care of me. Well, and of course everything's going crazy. An emergency landing in KCI. And now we have an apartment fire, and it just never ends. My view of the ER. Oh boy. Costco run. Hey, how you doing? Ah. Uh, so, I called in sick. Oh, probably close to three. And, uh, I was just feeling really crummy and spending a good part of my night in the bathroom, which not productive at all and I don't know I felt like like I was feeling achy and a little bit hot and so I'm thinking oh man whatever's going on with me in my GI tract is probably turning into an infection of some sort or whatever so the missus took me to the hospital North Kansas City hospital and and they said I just need to see a specialist and uh they recommended a GI specialist and so we'll follow up with our doctor today and make sure that gets done and they're concerned about my uh, elevated blood sugar rate which I think I think I've been drinking too many sugary drinks lately um, I'm uh, yeah I've been getting hooked on chocolate milk and that's that's really bad for you so and even the the sports drinks are loaded with sugar so I need to uh, cut back on that probably work on drinking more water and uh, yeah so we'll see what all the doctors say this medical looking van uh, the driver jumped out of it apparently and the van backed into the police car causing the airbags to deploy and injuring the officer slightly. It ended up in a uh, um, police chase where they were chasing him on foot and looking for him through these neighborhoods. I'm not sure if they've caught him yet. Yep, we're live at the Claycomo plant. Actually, we're live at both plants, and I'm uh, doing bump back shots here. This beautiful morning. Trying a different spot other than the Union Hall because I was in my Toyota. So uh, we're here at the uh, Thunderbird Tavern. There's the brand new transits being. I guess they're doing their final inspection before they're shipped off, or I don't know what they do here. Maybe somebody would know. Maybe they're running through the scanner. I think there's an inspection process here too. But that's what this plant produces is uh, transits and uh, F-150s. I believe it's the only plant in the U.S. that's producing the transit, but uh, not the only plant in the U.S. that makes F-150s. And that's a look back on uh, Clay Como. And there's the Ford sign. Oh, there's a porta potty on the roof. I think they're doing work on the roof, but I think it's a continuing ongoing process of modifying and maintaining this plant. One last look. And then we're out of here. My day is over.
Somerset Drive and 82nd Terrace here in, I think, Prairie Village. Man, can't really see it very well in the dark, but the whole street here is a river um, from a water main break, I believe. I don't know, it could be a, uh, a water line going into a house, but that seems to be a lot of water. And I think uh, Water One here is shutting down, shutting the water off. see anything in the dark. It has been a whirlwind of a morning, but today we're doing on our flight at KCI and we had to be here way early. <laughs> Only with uh, everything that's been happening between yesterday or the former Cambrera house and that was a big mess. I didn't get any sleep and being sick on Monday, I guess I missed the word of the earlier call time. But we got here and everything's fine. And, uh, the veterans are going to Washington. In case you're not familiar with what Honor Flight is. Come to what looks like a pedestrian uh, struck by another vehicle here on uh, 435. I'm standing here on the uh, the Grandview Road Bridge, which is overlooking it. You can still see the accident on uh, I-29 southbound lanes, which happened at 1.45 this morning It's uh, after 7, and it's caused a huge mess with all the construction and everything. The road's blocked. Uh, you know, the, one of the major arteries here is now blocked, and uh, it's our live location. And here's North Lydia, where a lot of people are coming long line of cars and then to make the make it worse somebody had a wreck on uh, north on uh, Berkeley Parkway so that's one of the major roads that people are using to get around the traffic or being diverted to and uh, of course somebody's got to mess that up as well so I just don't know what's been going on tonight it's been like this all night I think maybe it's the full moon or I don't know all the people that just being impatient or something I don't know it's crazy but look at that beautiful sunrise been a long week today with all the crashes and a lot of the stuff I couldn't even get to uh, and then the big traffic jam today so before I go home I'm gonna chillax a little and have some uh, I guess mint tea
I'm here in the Northeast Bottoms. There's a uh, apparently a chemical snow spill in this building here. And um, the workers evacuated and they brought, and what's interesting is they brought an airboat out to try and clear the building. But unfortunately, the smell is coming back. So everybody's staying evacuated and they're gonna do a search and try and find where the source of the smell is coming from. But uh, good news is nobody was hurt. Yes, we are back here live. The GM Fairfax. The beautiful sunrise. But I hate this live location because I think I've said this before. No facilities and nowhere you can possibly even go. There's one gas station about almost two miles that way, but I haven't been able to try it. I don't know what their bathrooms look like or if they even have bathrooms. Cause you know, some places just decide they're not gonna use, have bathrooms. And I, I don't necessarily blame them because uh, some parts of the city people will come and do so much da damage to the bathrooms that it's not worth trying to keep them open. But it leaves the rest of us suffering. But, oh man. If you're not uh, blocked by trucks, look at that sunrise. Alright, Steve, what did you do? I vlogged about going to the bathroom and it's not the first time. What did you say? Oh, 90 to headlines. Oh. <laughs> wow, look at that sunrise. Sunday. I hear it's National Coffee Day, which is good enough excuse for me. Uh, but I'm not gonna. I was gonna get a mocha. But, mm, my blood sugar has been up. I don't want to get diabetes if I don't already have it. So I'm gonna have an Americano. Americano. But, here we are. Be put on the call with Coffee. You. Coffee. Hey, how you doing? It is very hot for October. It's like summer weather. Even at night, it's hot. And seasonably so, I think. We didn't do anything yesterday. We didn't go out of the house yesterday being Saturday we were just worn out we're still tired um, making a late start today even and we uh, we stayed in ended up watching movies we watched uh, a war series based on um, kind of like the uh, band of brothers except for the Pacific and uh, first Marines what, division called the Pacific and uh, they don't pull any punches when it comes to war, which I think is, <clears throat> in many ways, it's very valuable. And I think that's the point, is to show war and all its uh, traumatizing and horrific nature. So my camera goes running away from me. So I think it's important to understand what people went through back then and the horrors of it all or maybe it's just gratuitous violence and people become desensitized to it I don't know but at least I don't know we kind of keep turning to the kids and saying is this what you want to do you want to do this and they're like no 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 I mean Serving your country is a great thing to do if you understand all the risks involved and everything and are still willing to do it. But serving your country to because you have to, because you have no other choice, is not a great, great thing. And uh, I mean, it can become a great thing. Some people who go through that mature and grow up and become very useful to themselves and to their families and their, to their 
communities and country, but when I was in the military, I saw way too many people. I probably include myself in that. <clears throat> we just treated it like it was a um, a welfare organization, and they got surprised when they found out it wasn't, and that they had to actually do something that might cost them everything they have. So. And that's what we tell our kids. But today I'm running some errands and trying to fix a few things around the house. Maybe as a birthday present to my wife. Talking about being useful and helpful. So we're here at Menards to get these pieces. fix our kitchen sink which is deteriorating falling apart and the doorknob to our bedroom door so that we can actually lock the door have some privacy keep the kids out <laughs> it's a thing and maybe you know my nards carries everything maybe I'll find myself a belt <coughs> Hey doggies, come on. Dog park. Doggies have been sitting around with us all weekend long too, so time for them to go free range. Right dongs? Right dongs? Free range? Going on, Spella. Oh, <laughs> Look at the wildflowers. Neato. Let's go cool off. Get something to drink. Vitamin D. Saya has OJ. OJ. I have lemonade. Lemonade. The doggies have a cool floor and cold water. Mm. I'm gonna go lay down to the tree. 